What's going on YouTube? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update of Bitcoin. We're also going to get in some altcoins as well. We're going to look at ETH. We're going to look at Link, some Tezos, um, probably some Digibyte. We're just going to work our way at Litecoin. We're going to work our way down through. So if you get some from these videos, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. This is a special day for Bitcoin right now. We're at $27,090. One thing I wanted to point out here is look at the moving averages and how much they have fanned out. And that shows how strong the trend has been. So we're up above our 20. EMA, we're up above our 50, our 100, and our 200 moving average. We just broke through. And this was on December 25th, so on Christmas Day. I wasn't looking at the charts here, but that's when we broke through our previous resistance at around 24,471. So that is what we now want to become support. So we'll end up turning that green. Let's just do that now as we work our way up the chart. But this is what happens for Bitcoin in blue sky breakouts like we've talked about before. Once you get up above that and you have no resistance, then price can really run hard. One thing I do want to point out to you, the RSI right now is about 79. And we also have a bit of almost like a shooting star candle forming. We haven't closed for the day. We still have plenty of time left. So we're going to have to watch that candle as it fluctuates throughout the day. But right now, if it did close like that, we would want to be aware of that because that could be a shooting star candle. And we would just want to be cautious. We'd want to see what tomorrow brings. So it's one of those things that can bring caution just so you can kind of look up there and see if that is the local top and if we're going to get that retracement potentially back to 24,471 or if we're going to get a nice strong candle close today. So just really watch that candle as we're up in some of those overbought conditions around 80 on the RSI as we know we can get up into the 90s but it's something I want you to pay attention to. You always want to take that defensive stance when you start to see some of these things. So like on the four hour time frame just to point this out to you, we had a doji up at the top and now we're getting a little bit of negative follow through on some heavier volume on the four hour time frame here. So I would still see it extremely healthy for us to go back to 24,471. If we found support off that, that's perfect. Old resistance, you want it to become new support. That's the name of the game. The RSI right now is at 73 on the four hour time frame. So we'll just have to see if we do get that follow through to the downside or if this was it right here. We ended up wicking down to about 26,349 and see if we'll get that next move to the upside. But those dojis, nice clean doji like that always brings a little bit of caution, especially on some heavier volume. And I know a lot of people like to trade the four hour time frame like I do as well. So that's going to be Bitcoin, guys. It's just awesome to be up at these levels like we talked about. We're blessed to be in this space at this time right now. So that's going to be Bitcoin. Let's bounce back out to the one day time frame. We're going to move into Ethereum. So ETH's at 686. And I know people have been dogging on ETH, guys, and saying, oh, it's been, hasn't been moving and everything. I mean, we need to realize in one year it's up 300%. We can't be greedy in this space. ETH's had a beautiful move here, been in a beautiful uptrend. You can see the channel that I've been looking at for quite a while here. We found support off the bottom part of the channel, and now we're going up to the top. So we want to extend this out, and we're going to see if we can actually get through that. If we get through that, that could give us a shot up there to around $750, then it'd be up to around that 805 is the next major resistance if we can get through the top of this channel here on the one day time frame. The RSI is at 64, so we have plenty of room to do it. We're not in that overbought condition right now for Ethereum. You can see we gained some strength. We also have the volume increasing as well. So let's just see if we can continue to close up above that 20 EMA, we'll call it. $615, continue to find support there and see if we can get outside a daily candle close outside of this upper channel. And that may propel us to go up to some higher levels. But you know, Ethereum's done great, guys. I'm completely happy with how Ethereum's rolling. Just needs to keep going here. Higher highs, higher lows, keep it moving. So that's going to be ETH. Really watch those levels. Next one I want to get into is Litecoin. We looked at this last night. So check out that individual Litecoin video. Main area we're running up to, we almost wicked up to it earlier today is $142. That's the main area to watch. If we can get up above that, we'd want to turn that into support. Okay, remember, it's all about resistances and supports. You really want to watch them. And that was out of this trend line break. I was watching this on the one hour time frame. We got a nice uh, break out of that on heavy volume. Okay, so in terms of support, now we need to hold up above about $120 is going to be the main area of support overhead resistance like we talked about that 142 we're in a beautiful trend up above our 20 50 100 200 rsi is at 69 right now so let's see if we get one more little kick up through that 142 if we don't like we talked about we'll need to hold that 121 and then we have some higher levels up there even around 180 if we can get through that 142 with some power and some conviction we're at 133 dollars right now litecoin's done really well we're up 3.21 percent so that's going to be litecoin we take a look at XRP. 
on the one day time frame you can see we just really had that massive crash we ended up getting down to as low as 20 cents and then that guy gobbled up a little bit we went back up to 38 cents so this is just time we're going to be extremely volatile and it could actually probably provide some good trading and that's what I think a lot of people will do is probably trade this like on the four hour time frame, the one hour time frame, because you want to see that volatility going back and forth. But the main thing I would say, just looking at this, you know, we'd want to hold 28 cents as support, overhead resistance. We need to get back up above that 200 moving average. That's extremely important for us. And that's up around 300, or I'm sorry, 33 cents. And with that 33 cents, you know, guys, whenever you trade below that 200 moving average, it can act as strong overhead resistance. And I apologize about my phone going off there, guys. I got a busy morning going on here. <clears throat> so that's going to be XRP. RSI right now is at 34. So let's watch and see if we do get a little relief bounce, something going out of there. Next one we're going to look at is Bitcoin Cash. Is at $351. You can see we're at the overhead resistance area. Main, that's the main area we're going to need to get over is 353. If we can get over top of that, there's some longer wicks. We did previously make it up to around $379. In terms of support, we need to stay up above $318. We are now currently up above our 20, 50, 100, and 200. And you can see the 100 cross through that 200 there. That's what you always want to see. We just want to see that increasing volume. But as you know, we look at Bitcoin Cash. A lot of people really like to dog on Bitcoin Cash. And I'm not even talking about fundamentals, anything. Bitcoin Cash is being adopted. Like we talked about with PayPal, it's one of those four... I do believe if I'm wrong, guys, you can correct me down there if I'm getting the company wrong. But a lot of these companies, they're picking, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash. And that means institutional money can go into those. And a lot of times that will bring those big pumps and Bitcoin Cash has been behind for quite a while. It was at $4,000 last market cycle. And, you know, I'm not giving any financial advice or anything, but, you know, Bitcoin Cash definitely has a shot to get back up into you know four digits in the next bull market here you know like altcoin cycle when we really get going for the altcoins i think it's one you know i don't care guys i'll trade a dirty diaper if you're able to make profit off a pink flamingo i don't care that's where people go oh, i'm not going to do that bitcoin cash is a coin that can run so hard if you take a look at this and that's why i'm talking about trading it here I'm not even talking about long-term investing or anything but take a look at this i mean from the bottom to the top when we had this massive run here that was 191 percent trade it you know what i mean and that's even with xrp i'll trade it doesn't matter if you want to swing trade this market you're not going to marry these coins and you're going to go for those trades and you're going to take your profit when it's staring you in the face and you're going to let it ride when it makes sense that's the number one thing that i can tell you you know don't take profits too early but also protect yourself and, and use those trailing stop losses if you're in massive profit because many times it'll come back down half at least you know, say you're at a coin that was at 50, it pumps to 100, it's going to at least come back to 75. It always happens. And then you can buy more of them and you just keep going. So, you know, that's the main thing I want to point out here. RSI is at 62. So if Bitcoin Cash wants to get going, it definitely could here and get through that overhead resistance. Then we could be up around that $400 psychologically. So that's Bitcoin Cash. I'm just talking about that as an example. I just wanted to use Bitcoin Cash as an example of great trading opportunities when the price really gets moving. Um, let's see here, Zcash. See where Zcash is at. That's about seventy dollars right now. I want to do some privacy coins in another video. Dash at one ten. We have Neo at fifteen. EOS at two dollars and seventy nine cents. We have XTZ here. Let's take a look. We have held our support of one dollar and eighty eight cents. That was the main area, but we're getting pressed down by the twenty, fifty, hundred, and two hundred moving average. This is one, guys, as I've been looking at the trend here, we've just really been trying to form this bottom, and it's taken a long time. We basically came down to this price. This was back in September 21st, and since then, we've really just been moving sideways. We've had some pumps up to around that $3, but it was long wicks. It was just quick, a lot of manipulation, then it sold right off after that. So we've really just been trying to find that bottom. But this is one, if you step out, and you take a look at it, if we're able to find this bottom here, there could be a lot of opportunity to the upside. You can see these cycles go in waves here. Then once you found that bottom, you kept it moving. We ended up getting up to around $4.50. So holding $1.88 is support overhead resistance. We need to get back up through $2.28. And then the RSI is at 45. And I also wanted to mention with Tezos, I was reading an article the other day. 
I, I can't tell you because I go through so many articles and just different things uh, for even my business, personal training, everything, just so much going on. But I was reading it how a lot of investors in China have really been scooping up Tezos. And it's like one of the top 10 now. It just busted into the top 10 of most held from the Chinese investors, if I do believe. So I just want to put that out there as well because people are looking at it and they're accumulating it as well. So that's going to be Tezos. If you like me covering that, let me know down low. And then let's see here. Take a look at Digibyte. And if you want me covering Digibyte, let me know down low. We've had our trend line break out of here. Digibyte, we're trying to get up above that 0 0.02991 is going to be the overhead resistance. Then it could be all the way up around that 0 0.03702. Same with Digibyte. It runs really hard when it gets moving. You can see we're up above all our important moving averages now, which is a good thing up above that 20, 50, 100, and 200. Came on heavier volume, which you want to see. Excuse me, the RSI is at 70 right now. And typically when we do pump hard, I want to point this out, Digibyte can get up to around 86 it has got there plenty of times on the RSI, so there could still be plenty of room here if the money wants to continue to keep flowing in. All right, main area of support I'd look at, we'd want to hold roughly that 0.02404. And you can see some of the other coins here. We're looking at Civic, Maker, Doge, just all different types of stuff to trade here, guys. ETC, just a lot of fun. So, you know, don't stress out about it. Have some fun with this space. I hope you all had a Merry Christmas. God bless each and every one of you. Take care, my friends.